Good evening, everyone. It is, of course, the NATO summit that's taking place in Madrid. And Boris Johnson, front and centre in many ways of it. In fact, he appears to be, in some ways, the dominant figure there, given that the American president uh, doesn't really step up to the plate, quite in the same way that Donald Trump did. Trump used to go to the NATO summits and berate them all, call them delinquent, and say that hardly any of them were paying the annual 2%. Johnson has said something similar, uh, but in somewhat more diplomatic terms than Donald Trump, he said to everybody else, look, you know, this really matters, this is important, you've got to step up to the plate. And in that, I suppose we'd say that he's showing leadership. And yet, and yet, actually, are we really stepping up to the plate? You know, Lord Dannett pointing out that during the Cold War, we had four armoured divisions there in Germany. Today, we couldn't even muster one armoured division, that the army, almost unbelievably, at this time, when the Prime Minister is talking so tough and standing so relatively tall on the world stage, is still due to be cut by a further 9,000 troops. Uh, and you can see some rumblings of discontent at home. I was fascinated by Ben Wallace, the Defence Secretary, talking about the so-called peace dividend. This dividend when the Berlin Wall fell. The trouble is we spent that dividend over and over and over. Wallace said, sometimes it's not about what dividend you can take out, but about what investment in people and equipment you can put in. And this, I thought, was quite damning from the Defence Secretary. For too long, Defence has lived on a diet of smoke and mirrors. And there is little doubt that in getting back to the 2% figure, the 2% of GDP, being spent on defence that show that we are good boys and playing the game within NATO. We've added into that all sorts of things like ceremonial duties. Now, we do have, coming to you during the course of the next hour, an exclusive interview here at GB News conducted by Darren McCaffrey, our political editor, who has just finished sitting down with the Prime Minister in Madrid. We'll bring you that interview over the course of the next hour. But the question I want to put to you, the audience at home, is simple. Should we spend more on defence? Let me know what you think. Farage at gbnews.uk.